Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. And thank you so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today in the channel, I thought it would be kind of fun to give you five hopeful figures in vehicles that I'm sure eventually Mattel will give us, you know, for the Origins line or the Masters line. And I would love to hear your thoughts as well and what your, you know, your five favorite uh, hopeful figures or vehicles that you would love to see to come to the Origins line. Or if you're a big fan of the Master First line as well. Alright, and there's no wrong answer here, guys. I think all answers would be great and right as well. Because we all want to get these figures, you know, eventually in the in the collection. And vehicles as well. So, like, there's no wrong answer here, guys. But I would love to hear your thoughts on this. And, of course, this video was made possible by this incredible book here, guys. And you've seen this book before on my channel. Uh, and I've got to give credit where credit is due once again. Uh, this was from the creator of Damn Elderly. I believe that I'm saying his last name correctly, or Pixel Dan, or and Dark Horse Comics, and also, guys, I'm not being sponsored by them. I'm not being paid to say this thing. You know, I've got to say I am talking free will here. Um, this is an absolutely amazing book here, guys, and here it is right here. I'm gonna give you a little shot right here. It's called the Toys of the He-Man and the Master of the Universe, right there, and also includes She-Ra, the Princess of Power, an absolutely incredible book. A must-have. I, I I recommend this book. Uh, highly, if you are a, a huge collector of this incredible brand here, if you don't already have this book, and I do hope, you know, you know, if they will do a sequel to this book that will give us the Origins line when the or when the Origins line is done, which is the Origins line, the Turtles of Grey Skull, you know, the cartoon collection, even the Masters of the WWE Universe as well, even the Masters line as well, CGI line. So I do hope that we will get a second book. Eventually on this on the you know with us, you know, I hope that Dan the creator will give us that book But yeah, this is an incredible book guys, but I'm not being sponsored by these guys You know as I'm talking, you know free will here, you know It's an amazing book and I do hope that you do get this book. All right, but today You know I thought it'd be kind of fun and there's so many you know different There's so many vehicles and figures that we have not yet gotten yet in the origins line so this is going to be multiple videos, you know, throughout, you know, the channel's life that we'll be coming back to from time and time again, guys. So here's my five hopeful figures and beagles that I would love to see come to the Origins line. Or if you are a big Masterverse line, you know, uh, uh, figure um, collector, I hope to see that as well. And also, guys, I have to pause the video because I thought I had a book holder to hold the book properly and I don't. So I'm using a, a sign holder, so I might have to pause the video from time to time to show you, you know, um, the the pages so that it doesn't fall. So hang on, guys. So the, my, here's my first one here, guys. So give me, hang on, guys. All right, guys. So the first vehicle I would love to see in the Origins line, of course, is, you know, is the Battle Ram right there. I think this is a, a must, must have here. Now, of course, we did get the Sky Sled from the Origins back in Wave 1. Uh, part of that Sky Sled uh, Prince Adam 2 pack, but I always felt that was kind of weird getting only the the sled part, but not the back end um, With that and I always thought that you know Mattel even even the Prince Adam uh, Combo was kind of weird to me. I always thought Adam should have been a single carter figure, you know um, With that flock shirt of course, you know that Adam we did not get that flock shirt. We got a plastic shirt, you know included with him and, but it's always weird to me that we never got the proper battle ram um, in the Origins line. I would love to see that back, you know, Mattel give us, you know, the battle ram here, you know, an iconic vehicle, you know, in the collection. And if you did give us a Prince Adam, I would have loved to have him paired up with another figure that I will be giving you, um, you know, I hope for this video. Uh, a very close friend of his that we have not gotten yet in the Origins line. All right, and I really hope that we do get the Battle Ram. You know, I think it's an iconic vehicle that, like, all collectors of this incredible brand would love to get. But there's the Battle Ram right there. as I, One of my hopeful figures, or I guess vehicles, to come out in the Origins line. Right there. All right. Let's see if I can get on to the next page here. All right. And the next one here, guys, if I can do it here, is another vehicle that I would love to see that I never owned, you know, in the original line. And that of the Dragon Walker, I would love to get my hands 
on an Origins version of the Dragon Walker. I thought that was one of the coolest vehicles back in the day. Came out in 1984. And I think it was uh, electronic, battery, battery operated, I do believe. And I thought it was one of the coolest things out there. And I would love for Origins to give us a, its own, you know, version of the Dragon Walker. Right there. Of course, you know, once again, you know, this is made possible by this incredible book here, guys. Um, by Pixel Dan or Dan uh, Ederly. I hope I'm saying his last name correctly. And, of course, Dark Horse Comics. All right. And also, I would love to hear your thoughts on this, too, guys. What is your, you know, top five or maybe three, you know, uh, two or one, maybe your most, you know, hopeful figure that you would love to see Origins create, you know, or Masterverse that we, we create in this amazing world here. But there's my second one right there, which is the Dragon Walker which, right there. All right. All right, let me move on to the next figure, I think. All right, now to the one of my first figures that I would love to get in Origins is this Modulock right there. So many possibilities you can create with this figure. I mean, just an amazing figure here. I think it's so being creative, just being creative and coming up with a unique, you know, version of Modulock here. I think he's a really cool figure here. I would love to see him come to the Origins line here, part of the Horde right here. I mean, absolutely amazing here. Look at all, look at all the possibilities. You know, if you owned him back in the day, I would love to get my hands on a Origins version of him and see that all the possibilities that we could come up to create this amazing character in the Origins line here, part of the Horde. I mean, I mean, look at it. Look at the, all the possibilities. I mean, it's endless, and I would love to see that. And there's the figure himself. Came out in 1985. Let me go to the next figure. Pause the video real fast. Now, this figure here, guys, I was not aware that he was part of the 80s line. Uh, but we just saw him in the, if you haven't seen it yet, in the Masters of the Universe Revolution cartoon. And who I'm talking about, guys, is, of course, Rio Blast. And I never knew that Rio Blast was part of the 80s version. I only thought he came out in the Classics line. But as you can see, he came out in 1986. A very cool figure here. I'm sure if you know we will get him eventually in the Masterverse line in the Revolution show. Uh, but I do hope that he does come part of the Origins line here. And there he is, right there. Also, once again, guys, I would love to hear your comments and thoughts about this and what you feel is, you know, your most you know anticipated uh, figure or vehicle. To come out in Origins and you know or Masterverse, but there he is right there. I love to get him right there in the Origins line. I thought he would. I thought he was a pretty cool character. I think first time seeing him in the cartoon uh, version. I never saw him in the filmation cartoon. So seeing him in, in the uh, cartoon uh, anime or uh, action uh, was pretty cool. All right. Right. And finally, this is a figure, and I have to pause. Um, this is a figure I'm going to show you that we never got in in the 80s uh, line. I think she um, came out in classics, and let's see if I can get her to come. In this book, like this book's so cool, guys. Um, where's she at here? Uh, give me a second, guys. All right, guys, sorry about that. But this is a figure that we never um, received in the original 80s line. And this is a two-for-one here, guys. And who I'm talking about, guys, is, of course, Queen Marlena. You know, I would love Queen Marlena. And, of course, she was packaged in the Classics line with Cringer, who I would love to see also in, you know, as another hopeful figure. You know, if we do get a Cringer as well, you know, with – I was hoping to get him with, with Prince Adam – but I would love to get a Cringer, of course, and Queen Marlena in the in the Origins line. Of course, we have King Randar, you know, and I hope to get a Queen Marlena and King Randar, you know, a much older versions of them in the Masterverse line as a two-pack. I think that would be amazing. And I will love to see her in, like, 
and it's the same as right here with her space outfit right here. I think that'd be very cool to get a Queen Marlena right there in Origins and the Masters line. And with Cringer too. I think Cringer is a really cool you know figure to get. You know, I hope you get a re you know, if it has to be in in the cartoon collection or the Origins line or the Vintage Origins line. You know, um, I would love to get a, a proper Adam with that flock shirt with a cringer right there. But yeah, so there's my five figures and vehicles that I would love to see to come out in Origins eventually. I'm sure they will give us, you know, I'm sure Mattel will give us eventually. Um, just have to, you know, wait. And which are the Battle Ram, the Dragon Walker, Modulock, all right, um, uh, Real Blast. Uh, Queen Marlena right here and Cringer. So those are my five right now hopeful figures that and vehicles that I would love to see come out in the Origins line or once again the Masters line if you do prefer the Masters line. And once again guys, this you know was made possible by this amazing book here by Pixel Dan and Dark Horse Comics. And I do hope we do get a sequel to this book um, with all the Origins figures that come out, you know. In, in the Masters line, the CGI line, which is, you know, Turtles of Great Skull, to the cartoon collection, you know, you know, um, Mondo, too. Hopefully they give us some Mondo figures, because this book is absolutely amazing, guys. I can't recommend it, you know, enough. If you have not gotten this book yet, it's a beautiful illustrated you know, from the 80s line to the Classics line to the 2000X to Princess of Power to the Super 7. Um, it goes up as far as the Origins line, so there is no Origins figures here because as we're filming this, you know, of course, the Origins line is still going strong. But once the Origins line is finished, I'm sure, hopefully, that Pixel Dan will give us a second book. I hope. But yeah, this book is amazing, guys. And once again, I'm not being sponsored by these guys. I'm not being paid to say these things, guys. I'm saying this free will. Um, if if Pixel Dan happens to you know come across my video, uh, thank you for this amazing book, Pixel Dan. Or Dan uh, Ederly, um, thank you so much. And I, you know, I would love to get an autograph. I do if I do meet him one day, I will happily get a, a, a second book like this and happily have him autograph it. Um, amazing. But but thank you guys. You know, there's my five hopeful, which I'm sure eventually we'll get. You know, in the line, in the origins line, eventually. And there's so many. Like I said, there's so many. You know, varieties and different figure figures and beagles. Once again, that we haven't even seen yet in the Origins line, you know, in, in Vintage He-Man, that, you know, we will get, hopefully. So we might be doing more videos like this in the future, All right there. Let me show you the backs here. So you got Grayskull on the front right there. And there's the Battle Ram right there, that classic Battle you know, battle Ram right there. Old Battle Cat right there, He-Man. Of course, the back, let me show you the back, has Snake Mountain right there, the Vintage Snake Mountain right there. With my boy Triclops right there, front and center, right there. We got Cyclone, which is coming very soon. All right. Put that down here. But yeah, guys. So, so there's my, you know, my first of many, many hopeful figures that we will probably get eventually in the Orchids line. So let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are of your hopeful figures to come out very soon. And like I said, there's no wrong answer here, guys. You know, every answer is going to be the right one because of this amazing product that we hopefully will get, you know, eventually down the road. So once again, guys, if you are interested in this book, it is called The Toys of He-Man and the Master Universe right there. And it gives you the, the outlook right there of all the versions from the 80s to Princess of Power to New Adventures to 2000X. And classics and beyond, guys. I mean, incredible book here, guys. All right, guys. I like to take the time now to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video, have not subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys. All things Masters of the Universe, all right? Which could be, you know, upcoming figures. Hopefully, we'll get soon um, in the collection to the Origins line to. You know, which could be Vintage Origins line, to the Cartoon Collection, to the Turtles of Grayskull, to the Masters of the WWE Universe, to the Masterverse line, you know, to the CGI line, too. Um, you know, uh, hit that like button. 
and 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 thank you for doing that. It means a lot. It helps my channel to get out there to grow and you know, hope more people to watch my videos and subscribe as well. So thank you so much for hitting that like button. It means a lot. Of course, um, hit that notification bell when you know I upload new videos. And of course, tomorrow we're heading back to the Masterverse line again for another random deluxe figure, another relook as we wait for new figures to come out um, in the channel, which would, which would be more Turtles of Grayskull. Um, you know, or, you know, cartoon collection figures, or even standard, um, Origins line, or even Masterverse figures, too. So, you know, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm, I am hearing, so it has been confirmed, like, you know, some people are starting to get, uh, their attorney a play set. I have not gotten notification yet for mine as well. Um, so if you are one of those lucky, uh, you know, collectors, that's amazing. Um, now, there's been some, um, about King Grayskull which was the early backer um, um, figure that if you early backed it, um, you were able to get King Gray Skull from Origins. That is not shipping with the Attorney playset, okay? So don't freak out, okay? Um, Modi the Monster is included in the packaging, okay? I, I've All right, Moto J, I think his name is on YouTube, did a little uh, video on this, okay? Um, King Gray Skull, you know, the Origins version, I'm going to give you a heads up, it's going to be shipping separately, guys, okay? So don't freak out, okay? So when you do get your playset, your turning playset, he is not going to be included in that playset, guys, okay? Just heads up on that, okay? So don't freak out. He is going to be shipping at a later date, okay? And he's going to be shipping out around March 29th of, of this year, okay? So once again, don't freak out, you know, when you get your, you know, your, your playset and you open up and you look at it for everything and you notice that King Grayskull is missing, and they forgot it? No. It, he's coming out at a later date, guys. Okay? So I'll let you know about that. All right? Um, also, you know, mark your calendars once again for February 16th for, I think I was saying Stonedar. I think it's wrong. I think it's Rock On. I think Rock On is the, is the figure coming at Mattel Creations exclusive Origins figure. I think it's Rock On. Um, yeah, so, you know, keep your calendars, you know, free for uh, February 16th. I will try to get... For me, at least one. You know, as long as I can get one for the collection, that's that's all I need. If I can get one and they're still available, I'll try to go for another one. But I always go for one only. And so I hope you guys will be able to get that, you know, rock on as part of your Origins figure collection. So, you know, you know, good luck for that, you know. So, all right. Well, so guys, you know, uh, share this video, guys, who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe, you know, which could be, you know, um, you know, 80s to, you know, Princess of Power to, you know, 2000X to Mondo to, you know, Origins, which is now the cartoon collection to the Turtles of Grayskull, you know, to the CGI line, to the Masters line, you know. So, so guys, you know, thank you for joining me today, guys. I'm really looking forward to hearing your thoughts and reviews on what you hope to get in, hopefully, your hopeful figures to come out for Origins line, you know, your five or your three or your two or your one. So I'm very curious about that, guys. I hope you, you, you let me know in the comments below. So, guys, I hope you guys, once again, have a great Tuesday. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Take care, guys. And have a good one.